Pauly, obviously, you know, three straight losses. What do you guys need to do to get this thing turned around? Um, I think our focus, I mean, I personally think that we need to work on, you know, communicating with each other better, kind of trying to develop a better team chemistry um, and being able to play through adversity, you know. Um, we may feel that things are not in our favor, but, you know, we just got to stick to what we can do, practice what we plan, like, and then try to see it through. So. The rebounding aspect, how, how do you guys get better there? Um, I mean, I mean, it is pretty simple, but sometimes I feel, you know, you know, certain, certain games I'm snatching boards and there's other games I'm just not, it's just not coming towards me. So um, I think we just have to focus on being more physical, hitting somebody and just trying to root them out the paint to get the rebound. What are you learning about the Big 12? I mean, you you faced the defending national champion, you faced a top 25 team in their gym, and then you got, you had uh, Kansas, which is a historic place. And then you got Oklahoma coming up tomorrow. Four different teams that play different ways that are all really good. What are you, what are you learning? Um, I feel like I got to get bigger. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the talent, everything about this league, like, you know, we're playing against the best players in college basketball right now. So um, it's definitely, you know, an adjustment for me, considering, like, the players that I've played against before. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I think I said this before, like, I can't get caught up in, you know, the glitz and the glamour of what things are. And I just got to go out and do what I do, you know, so. There were, there were good teams in the Big East. Just yeah. probably not as many, right? Right, right. I mean, there were some games that you could probably go in and maybe not be 100% and be effective. Yeah. Where so far in the five that you played here, I mean, you got to give 100% every time you're out on a four, right? Right. Or you're going to get, is that how you view it? I think, yeah, I kind of view that with every game, though, yeah. despite who we're playing. Um, right. You got to go out and give your all. I mean, I, right. at least I feel like I try to, you know, come with that, you know, mindset with every game. But sometimes that just isn't enough, you know. There's so many factors, uh -huh. you know, whether your team's on the same page, you know, someone will argue refs, someone will argue, you know, there's so many different factors. I think it's really simple, honestly. Um, you know, we, we come up with a practice plan. We do that, and we have to work on executing that in the games. And I feel like, you know, focusing on everything else. I mean, of course, you're going to play against talented players and teams, and you're going to go against, you know, great coaches. But that doesn't really matter at the end. It's, it's at the at the end, it's a win or a loss. So right. that's kind of how I look at it. It, it. The last thing, it just kind of looks like <coughs> you guys are still learning yourself out on the floor. Is that a fair statement? I feel like I am. Um, you know, still trying to establish like where I fit in, what my niche is. Uh -huh. You know, I do a little bit of a lot, kinda, in terms of defense, blocking shots, taking charges, trying to grab rebounds. But um, I have to say, like, I've been pretty inconsistent in those areas. So, mm -hmm. kind of just trying to establish where I fit in and what I do best, and trying to, you know, keep doing it is what I'm figuring out right now. I mean, I think of instances where um, maybe you're going in position to get a rebound, and they're throwing the ball to you. Things like that where you haven't really played enough to know, yeah. okay, hey, he's going to dump it to me. Or right. I think there was an instance maybe it didn't involve you where somebody got hit in the back with a pass. Yeah. So it just seems like they're still, you guys are still feeling each other out. Right, and that kind of goes back to what I was saying as far as like team chemistry and cohesiveness, uh -huh. knowing where we, we thrive the best on the floor, knowing where I want to catch the ball, knowing certain guys' comfortability on the floor. Yeah. I think establishing that and then getting reps, it'll help at least. You have enough time to get it down, you think? Um, I don't think it's a matter of time. I just think it's a matter of our willingness to, you know, do those things. So um, we don't really have much time. I think, you know, we have we have like 14 games left. Um, right now we just have to win. So I think if we're willing to, you know, adjust in the ways we need to, you know, things will change. So you guys really had to learn fast, right? Yeah. Yeah. So no, no time to sit down and ponder about this and that. You just got to do it. Yeah. Well, it seems like they want to put you near the basket and pass it to you yeah. and see if you can turn around and score it, um, which is a simple thing for a big guy, right? But if I remember correctly, you were not scoring a lot like that before, correct? What's, what's different about? What do you mean, like now? before? Well, 
you see a lot of putbacks running, you know, uh, pick and roll, get yeah. the basket. Whereas now it's entry pass and post up and see what you can do. Is that is that different than DePaul and Manhattan? Um, I feel like I've well at Manhattan. I felt like I was good on initial post ups and getting the ball thrown inside. Um, it's a lot more difficult when I was at the Paul and obviously here because you know the people I'm going against are much bigger guys. So um, honestly, I feel comfortable scoring the ball off pick and rolls, you know, rejecting screens and even posting up. I just have to. I think a big the biggest issue with me is just taking my time. I find myself rushing too much. So. When, when you're trying to add something new or rediscover something from Manhattan, is it hard not to rush it because you want it to come fast, right? Yeah, but I mean, uh, I could sit here and try to, you know, go as fast as I can and try to force a rep or whatever the case may be, but I just have to kind of take my time and, you know, do what I've been doing, you know. I think I get too caught up in the idea that, um, you know, I've come all the way from Manhattan to here and I have to kind of get along, but it's like I've been doing it, so.